highest level in more than a decade with four months still left to go in the fiscal year when asked if she would finally make plans to see the border crisis up close here's her response do you have any plans to visit the border I, at some point you know it, we are going to the border we've been to the border so you, this whole this whole this whole thing about the border we've been to the border we've been to the border you haven't been to the border I, and i haven't been to europe and I, mean, I don't i don't understand the point that you're making i'm not discounting the importance of the border oh hilarious uh brian yenis is live following the vice president of mexico so she laughed that off she hasn't been to europe not the point brian Harris, good afternoon. Vice President Kamala Harris and Mexico's President Obrador have just taken official photos uh, at the National Palace here, and they are actually about five minutes away from having their official bilateral meeting. Both countries, both delegations from the U.S. and Mexico just signed a memorandum committing both countries to really adding economic opportunities in the Northern Triangle. That's El Salvador, Honduras, and Guatemala. This is all part of what the Vice President continues to say on this trip is the focus of her trip, which is to really go after the root causes that she says is causing uh, illegal immigration. But at the same time, she is facing criticism for not dealing with the current crisis at the border, facing criticism for not visiting the southern border, but also for her mixed messaging to migrants. Listen to what she had to say in Guatemala to the people of Guatemala just yesterday. At the same time, I want to be clear to folks in this region who are thinking about making that dangerous trek to the United States-Mexico border. Do not come. Do not come. The United States will continue to enforce our laws and secure our border. A blunt message in Democratic Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, well, she tweeted her response, quote, this is disappointing to see. First, seeking asylum at any U.S. border is a 100% legal method of arrival. Second, the U.S. spent decades contributing to regime change and destabilization in Latin America. We can't help set someone's house on fire and then blame them for fleeing. Both Guatemala's president and Mexico's president, Obrador, have both said that the Biden administration's messaging on illegal immigration is contributing to more migration. Listen. Expectations were created that with the government of President Biden, there would be a better treatment of migrants. And this has caused Central American migrants, and also from our country, wanting to cross the border, thinking that it is easier to do so.